Today I'm going to finish up making bacon from the pigs we killed two weeks ago. I started this process with the sides of two American guinea hogs. I put about 33 pounds of belly meat in the refrigerator, vacuum sealed. I added pepper and salt. It's been about 12 days in the fridge and I'm going to smoke this bacon today and put it in the freezer. I'm using only hickory wood to smoke this bacon. Now I'm washing my pork belly. Washing them and drying them, getting ready to put them on the smoker. There's two ways to cure bacon. There's dry curing and equilibrium curing. Dry curing is where you apply salt to the outside of the meat and allow it to draw the moisture from the meat. This is the more traditional method and lends towards preservation. Equilibrium curing is what I did this time where you bag your meat with an exact amount of salt and allow it to cure. There's two ways to smoke bacon. Traditionally, bacon would be cold smoked to preserve it and add flavor and repel insects. We'll leave that bacon on for a few hours now. Next time I make bacon, I'm gonna make real traditional bacon, dry cured and cold smoked. This bacon you should be able to hang in your kitchen or in a cool room for as long as you want to. Now here's the moment of truth. The beauty I have been waiting for. The smell is amazing and there it is. This is bacon. It's a proud moment when all of your work comes to fruition and you're just looking at something that you made and you say, I did this. There's nothing like this smell. <laughs> and oh, it is delicious. Now we're packing bagging, weighing, and carefully labeling to make sure that when I taste this bacon six months from now, I know exactly what it is and can compare it to the bacon I make in a couple weeks. And then next year, 
I know exactly what I want to do. The same and differently. The freezer's full. Another very good feeling. And my day is done. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.